I wanted to take a moment to um, talk about a customer experience I had recently with Amazon, and it was with a subdivision of Amazon called Audible. So Audible is quite popular at the minute because a lot of people don't have time to to read books, so they're listening to them on their commute or whatnot, and um, it's a great solution. I really enjoy it. I was on their monthly trial for a while, and I'll get like a few books a month and whatnot, and um, I put it, I kind of suspended that because I bought up a bunch of books and I, need, I had a bit of a backlog I needed to work through. But, you know, as most of these companies are, they, they, they were quite good with their marketing automation and they were sending me emails saying, look, why don't you join back up? We'll give you another free month or something like that. So, like, for example, this this was one of the emails, you know, come on, come on back, your your next month is free or something like that. So, basically, um, I clicked the link. Now, I wanted to kind of explain how a a structural thing within their company is causing UX problems and customer service problems. So I clicked the link, and I have been doing Audible in the States for a long time, right? And I understand there's these global licensing things where you buy books over there, they're in your American account, you move over here, whatever, um, and you switch, you know, regions. It's all different, you know. I had the same thing with iTunes, so we decided we were just going to leave our American iTunes and restart new ones here in in Australia. So, But I didn't want to do that with Audible because I had my my whole library. I wanted to keep going with my American, which they said is fine. I could just keep keep buying them under that account. It's all, all good. The email, though, linked me through to the Australian, right? So I clicked the link. I'm like, yeah, I want to take advantage of this offer. I might as well because I need to go in and buy some books. And, um, it didn't work so that I went into the mobile. I went, you know, I struggled with this for a long time. Like went into the mobile trying to click like switch to America or something to see if I can get the offer to apply. Then I logged onto the desktop site. I was trying to look for something that lets you switch regions and still apply the, the, the offer. It wasn't working. So I just clicked contact and I said, Hey support, can you give me this offer? Cause you've emailed it to me. I, you might as well give it to me, but I'd like to, Resume it in the States where my all my stuff is. So they come back here, and I'll, I'll see if I can dig the, the email out. All right, so support comes back. I'm very sympathetic to support people. I know that I, you know, I really try and show my appreciation for, for them as much as possible because it it's, can be a challenging job. But they said, we understand that you'd like to take advantage of your free trial offer and resume membership in Audible US. And then they say, basically... Audible US and Audible AU are completely different and separate. Completely different and separate. So what he what this person is telling me, this Judy was the was the person, is that um, you know, it's separate entities probably, which is correct. It's separate books, it's separate licensing. So I get all that, but to me it's one brand, right? It's Amazon and it's Audible. So I understand they're quite, you know, separate operations and, you know, um, cost centers and things like that, different support teams, the whole lot. I get it. But what that's doing is it's putting their company structure ahead of my needs as a customer, right? So they basically, so she goes on to says, you know, we, you know, she explains different offers, different libraries, and I get that. Um, And she said, you know, we can, we can enroll you here, but you lose your library, which I know is going to happen, Right. So um, then she goes on to say, if you want to, if you want to try and do this in the U.S., here's here's the link. You have to go get in touch with them. Uh, you have to talk with them, and they'll help you. So I think that's probably an area where it kind of fell down a bit because, you know, it's within the same parent company. Surely they could have, um, you know, sent, put in a word, done a carbon copy email, something. This is sort of where, you know, these limitations are now kind of bumping into to the way they do support. So it's support and it's the UX. Like I had no way of switching. I'll show you the link that they gave me. You can see here it says override IP direct override equals true. So that's something special that they're putting in like the web address to, to get it to, to let me go into the American site and contact them without it redirecting me to Australia. But there's no way to do that in the interface. You literally have to trick it through the URL. So again, that's a UX thing where I, as a customer, I'm you know I'm I'm moving around globally. I want to do my I still want to keep doing my Audible and stuff like that. But 
you know, I'm limited and they're not providing me a way to switch because I think maybe there's, you know, a bit of competition between the companies within within the group or whatnot. Anyway, so I went ahead and I just reached out to the uh, American team um, through that link and just said the same thing. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, they come back and they just say, we've given you the free trial. You're good to go. So Americans to the rescue, unfortunately, in in this instance. But these little things, they happen all the time. They're so interesting. But a friend of mine posted recently on, on LinkedIn here about you know, putting the customer at the center. And I commented and I was like, yes, just, we need to do that. So every time we're designing these, 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 these structures and these processes and there's support and there's UX and there's going to be limitations when you're scaling out global products or when you're, you know, trying to figure out how all these things put together, customers got to be at the center. Just let the customer choose, let them do what they want to do. Hope that helps somebody.